All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on my show, and I'm here on my show to talk about some wrestling. We're going to talk about but some news, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get right into it. So, uh, we had some news here about, once again, you guess it, Vince McMahon back in the news. Just exhausting talking about the Vince McMahon news, but we have an update on the, uh, uh, with Rita Ch Chatterton. So, uh, Vince McMahon has agreed to a multi-million dollar legal settlement with a former wrestling referee who, who accused him of raping her in 1986, according to people familiar with the agreement. Mc Mr. McMahon's settlement with Rita Chatterton actually completed last month. Averts a public legal fight over, how, over her allegations as Mr. McMahon pursues a possible sale of the company. So, uh, as you know, uh, Rita Chatterton was the first female referee of what was known as the WWF, where Wrestling Federation demanded 11.75 million in damages for the alleged rape in a November letter to Mr. McMahon's attorney viewed by the Wall Street Journal. So, Apparently, this was completed last month where the uh, settlement happened. So, this avoids like a legal fight, like in court or whatever. Real justice. Real justice for Vince McMahon would be him in jail. But that's the way things go in life, I guess. That's the way things go when you were rich and you got money, like Mr. McMahon. I mean, money won't make you happy, but you can almost always do what makes you happy and cover it up with tons of money. Well, at least if you don't have any more integrity in you, <clears throat> Vince McMahon. So, so you got a settlement before Vince even came back by the looks of it. I mean... Just trash. I hate Vince McMahon. Nick Collin, uh, he said he doesn't expect more allegations against Vince McMahon to come out. Finds Vince honest. Vince is about to be. Vince is about to, is about as honest as a politician, man. He's about as honest as a politician. And the bro thinks Vince, Vince is not getting any more gal allegations after this, but he forgets that it's Vince, Mc, Vince freaking McMahon, of all people that he's talking about. And Nick Collins a dick rider. Nobody finds Vince McMahon honest. And I don't know why Nick Collin is saying this about Vince McMahon. He just needs to see this sail through so that he gets his payday. And doesn't expect more to come out. Does not equal. There's nothing else there there that could come out. Nick honestly wants to keep his job. That's why he's saying this. Because he wants to keep his job. That's why he's defending Vince McMahon here. Saying he doesn't expect any more allegations to come out. And he finds them honest. <laughs> So, so uh, the Jay Briscoe uh, passed away. Uh, he was in a uh, car accident, a head-on car crash uh, on January 17th. Just his very sad news. Uh, part of the Briscoes can't imagine what his family's going through and his uh, tag team partner. But on AEW last night, this came out from Wrestling News, Co. AEW was reportedly not allowed to do a Jay Briscoe tribute show on Dynamite. So, apparently, um, the AEW wasn't allowed, which is very, very fucked up. Um, sad and disappointing way to go, Warner Media. Very sad, very disappointing. And I had a feeling this would be the case. And Warner Media is terrible for that. I know he was they weren't like a part of AEW, but their Ring of Honor, they're big in the they were big in the wrestling world, the Briscoes. 
And if this and if this if this is actually true, then fuck Warner Br WBD. AW Dynamite was the lead-in for a guy who slapped his wife on film promoting a slap fight. Fucking Dana White. It's, it's like, why why exactly would you block Tony Khan and AEW from airing a tribute show to Jay Briscoe? Do you think the tragic death of a self-built, creative, inspiring athlete, family man, and was a great father shouldn't be recognized? And his legacy not be celebrated at Warner Media? Like... This is just tra trash, man. Fuck Warner Media. Uh, the Ring of Honor had a Jay Briscoe uh, celebration of life. So, at least they had a little little show there for uh, Jay Briscoe. Find some more news here. Uh, some of the some of the wrestlers last night wore uh, armbands, like armbands for Jay Briscoe. Sounds very very cool of the wrestlers. Find some more news here. Uh, uh, Kurt Angle says, I don't know how MJF will hold up in an Iron in a Iron Man match with Brian Danielson. He's he's gonna be absolutely fine. I think the story is they Daniel Brian, Brian Danielson doesn't think MJF can go a whole hour in an Iron Man match. He'll find his way through and it'll be an amazing match. They wouldn't put their champion and face into it and face into a sixty minutes with Daniel Bryan if they didn't know he could I think MJF can go all night long. Um so Yeah, that's all safe for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, Alpha Peace.